I'm having so much fun because right now guys listen listen I'm sitting here with the black Cinderella mother culture I know you regaholics know who I'm talking about sister Carol is in the building guys oh my god how are you feeling tonight on this Dr. Martin Luther King's um, birthday batch or holiday party, rather? <laughs> Blessed love and greetings, you know. Greetings to each and everyone tuning in on trading photos right now. I'm, I'm feeling well and, you know, blessed and highly favored, as they say. You know, just coming off uh, my birthday party album launch last night. Such a massive support. I just want to say thanks to each and everyone who came out. Everyone that brought the positive energy, the vibes, the energy was just like half the chains and wow. I'm thankful, you know. The, and this is your 13th album. That is amazing. Thanks, you know. Give thanks. I mean, I give thanks to the fans and the people in Radio Land, the media, the journalists for the support that they've been giving. That's why I'm still around after 33 years. And the name of the album. Live no evil, right? It's live no evil. <laughs> and we are trying to take up our people in a positive path to let them know that we as a people are divided by some fictitious barriers that we need to remove and let the love just circulate freely. So we are trying to avoid E-V-I-L so that we can L-I-V-E. So I want, yeah, I want everyone to go out and get this album. This yes. album cover look like this. Live no evil. And it's all about making sure that we make the place much better for the next generation you know to prevent a lot of sorrows and things of that nature no more anger no more greed no more attachment no more ego you know what i mean just a free flowing organic vibes that's what this album is about oh my god you're you're basically awakening this love energy in everybody through your music and also the the feminine goddess you know, is that why they call you Black Cinderella? <laughs> well, funny you said that. Indeed it is. Because there was this man in Jamaica while, while I was like about 12 years old. He sang this music called Where Can I Find My Black Cinderella? And then immediately then I felt like he was talking to me personally. So when I started singing, I, I used that name as the Black Cinderella because it personifies me. But later on, about 10 years ago, I met this woman in, um, I think, North Carolina, and she told me the meaning of Black Cinderella. Woo, share it us. We want to know. We want to know. Ah! You know, she said, Black, you know, we are, we, are, we, are, we are Black because we have melanin in our skin, right? Speak it. Cinderella, no, she broke it down. She said, Cinder is what we look up when we see all up there in the heavens is just Cinder meaning black and Ella is like from a goddess point like El is for and Elohim is for the gods and Ella is for the goddess so I'm a black goddess and you know it just really personifies me so it's black Cinderella records black Cinderella clothing black Cinderella productions and we're doing big things you know we're doing great things and we thank the people for their support and Ask them to continue to support us. Like I said, it's brand new album. Yes. Live no evil. Live no evil. I truly recommend you go out and get it because it's a um, collector's item. As we say, it's a necessity. You must get this one. Well, how many tracks is on there? Well, the, the, there are 14 tracks. The album was released on the 14th in 2014. Wow. 14, 14, 14. That's some powerful numeral, uh, uh, how do you say, Numer numeric, uh, numerology. Yeah, everything has a meaning. I'm trying to study a little bit about numerology, but hopefully in the future I'll know more about it. I really don't but, uh, know. I don't really know much about it either. But all I can tell you, I'm very energized and I'm feeling good, high in spirits, and I'm loving the vibes and the energy and it. The feedback I'm getting from this album. That's exciting. And you've done some feature films as well. How is that going? Is there um, new movies coming up soon? Because we've done three major movies already, right? Well, yeah, my movie career, you know, was launched sometime back in 1986 with the first movie called Something Wild with um, Melanie Griffiths and Jeff Daniels. 
followed by um, Married to the Map with Michelle Pfeiffer and Matthew Modine. And then in 2009, we did um, Rachel Getting Married with Anne Hathaway. And Anne Hathaway was nominated for the Oscar, so it propelled the movie in a, another light, you know. So, what I can tell you, coming up um, sometime in the spring of this year, there's a new documentary coming out called Awake Zion. Yeah, and I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a part of that as well, so my fans can look forward to that. It's quite an interesting film. It's a documentary, but we say film because, you know. Wow. And it, it shows you the similarities between Judaism and Rastafari. As I told you before, we need to eradicate these fictitious barriers that divide us as a people and just let, let that free love and the energy flow. And that's what the movie is about. Wow. I, I am so happy that you're doing this work. And you're just, I can feel the energy. And this is what Mother Earth is asking for, to awaken her children. Well, right? there's a song on the album called Mother Earth. And she said, Mother Earth is ever willing, but she's tired and she's fed up for the killing. Mother Earth is for us to enjoy, but Babylon has stopped wreck and destroy. You know, so we want to big up Mother Earth and bless her up that she can be more fruitful. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing all this great energy and art and really that wisdom. And I can just sense how it's just flowing out of you. Like you're being a channel for Mother Earth to just pour her essence you know, through you, and it's really amazing. So, um, what is the website that, um, you know, for people who may not know of your fans, album yet? The fans can link me on sistercarol.com, also on Facebook, Sister Carol East, also on Twitter, I'm Sister Carol East, and, um, you know, just stay tuned to the, to the website to find out what's happening, you know, where I'm going, what I'm doing, you know. And uh, where are you performing next? I'll be doing, um, performing at Bob Marley, Bob Marley birthday in um, Washington DC, Howard Theatre, February 6th. Yeah. February, so where can people get tickets for that? It's in Washington DC, so I think the tickets are sold down on that side. Or maybe they could go online and look it up. It's Howard University, no, I'm sorry, the Howard Theatre in Washington DC, Maryland. And um, I'm performing with um, the likes of the Itals and some of the artists not coming to my head clearly, but you can check it out. That's, my that's where my next performance will be. Amazing success. Lots of, lots of amazing endeavors for you in your career. Thank you so much for Bye. stopping by. This is Eve Lord Savior. You're watching Trading Photos and Conscious Entertainment with Eve Lord Savior. This is Sister Carol. Go and grab the album Live No Evil. One perfect look. Yes.